What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Today, very special guest, we got Cam Johnson of Phoenix Suns. How are you feeling? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. All right, cool. So tell me about, you know, the basketball tournament you put together and why you started up. Um, so it's a three-on-three tournament. It's in my hometown of Moon Township, Pennsylvania. Um, my buddy, who I live with out here, we went to high school together. Um, and when I got drafted out here, he came out here with me. And he runs an annual tournament back home also. Um, and he hadn't run it last year because of COVID. And he wasn't going to run it again this year because of COVID and just uh, time frames and whatnot. And uh, we were sitting at the, at the kitchen table um, during the finals. And I was talking to him about his tournament, if he was going to try to run it in August, um, what it was looking like for next year. And I was like, hey, man, why don't, why don't we try to put one together for, for, the, for the end of August? Um, and this was early July. And he's like, let's do it. So we started um, putting it together, getting it ready. And, and obviously a big part of it is just giving back, finding ways to give back um, to our hometown community, um, finding ways to, to give back to kids and, and get into the city a little bit. Cool, that makes sense, a lot of sense, you know. So I feel like a lot of people have tournaments and it just happens randomly, sporadically, like every other year. So what makes this one so important to you? Um, it's important to me just because of the causes that we're donating to um, and they're, they're important to me. And in addition to that, you know, it, it, I think it, it'll be a fun day overall. It'll be a, a good tournament, um, putting a lot of work into it, a lot of people behind me helping me. Um, and, and, and so far, you know, in the planning process, learning a lot from it, but like I said, man, just getting back, giving back to my, my hometown community, um, getting back home, you know, season gets so busy, off season so short, just and be present is, is important. Yeah. Being present and visibility is very important. So especially going into the league and of course, yeah, like, you know, the, the, what's the word, the influx of money coming in and things like that. So how come, you know, philanthropy has, you know, been so important to you and how did it come into your life to get back? Oh, I've, I've, I've always been, um, I've always loved giving back to the community, whether, you know, when I didn't have any money, it would be my time volunteering, helping people, um, and, and as I got older and I got into college, just just being someone, you know, your name carries a little bit more weight as you as you as you grow up, um, as you accomplish certain things. So being able to help people out in any way, um, one of the causes that I was pretty connected to in college was was helping pediatric cancer patients. Um, and, and there is an organization back in Pittsburgh that I worked with called Connecting Champions. Um, and, and just the, the little things like that is, is important. Um, another thing, another aspect of the tournament and, and basketball in general is uh, there's only there's only two NBA players from all of Western Pennsylvania right now, myself and, and TJ McConnell for the Indiana Pacers. And uh, Western Pennsylvania has always been known as a football area. Pittsburgh is a football town. And basketball wise, I think we don't get the credit we deserve or the credit that we should. And I think there's tons of good players coming up. And, and I've heard a lot about them from, from guys that are involved in the youth ranks right now. But there's a lot of good players that are coming up. So that's part of me getting back there and, and, and getting in front of them is showing them that this is possible. Kids from Pittsburgh, kids from Western PA can make it to the league, can succeed. Um, and, and like I said, you know, just inspiring them in that way. Absolutely. You know, shout out to PA. So it looks like, you know, your, your tournament also supports like two organizations, right? Yep. So uh, tell me about those organizations. Uh, so one of them is, is the Kyle B. Wilson Scholarship Fund. And Kyle was an AU teammate of my brother's AU, uh, rec league, football, everything. They grew up together. Um, and Kyle was always over my house, um, always, always around him. And he was just such a good kid, always such a good kid. He was like, an, he was like another brother to me. And... Um, he tragically passed away at the age of 17. It was his senior year of high school. And um, this this scholarship fund was set up in honor of him by his parents, by his family. And obviously, you know, I'm, my family has always been a big academic family, um, you know, pushing the importance of education. And so for me to give back in, in a way that honors Kyle's legacy and, you know, affording education opportunities to to young kids in the area that that's uh, that's that's pretty cool that's pretty important to me and the other um the other program is the ozanam after school program ozanam is an organization that works out of the hill district in pittsburgh the hill district is, is a little bit of a, a rougher area has a reputation of being a little bit of a rougher area 
but the program offers kids meals after school, which is really helpful for the kids and their families. And on top of that, academic support and athletic programs, um, you know, in any sport. So just, you know, just getting back there, giving back, giving the kids uh, something to look forward to after their days. Um, I think part of this is donating laptops and, and a smart board to their organization. So that's very gratifying and, and, I, and I hope they'll enjoy it. Sure, and it goes a long way helping the kids, especially if they don't come from like, you know, more affluent neighborhoods and communities and things like that. And then uh, last question for you. So what are the, your future plans after basketball? I know you're super young still, but you know. I, I really feel like I can go in a lot of different directions. Um, it depends on how, how much longer I play and, and what it transpires in those, in those subsequent years. But if I were to stop right now, I'd probably get into college athletics. Um, that's what my master's degree is, is tailored for. So that would be what I'm most prepared for and fresh out of. Um, but if not that, then, then I could go back to school and, and, and get another degree or get into coaching or do, do more nonprofit work. Or getting to broad see there's there's so many men so many opportunities um plenty of options right right you gotta make sure to add the ma after your name i know right super important <laughs> but you know we love the work you're doing especially here at jd and uh finish line big partners with ca as well so shout out to them and you know we like to make a donation on your behalf to those two charities so help you know continue the work they're doing so thank you for the work you've been doing time as well Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, that's a wrap. You know, I'll let you have the last words before we uh, close this interview out. Um, the big thing that I want to say is just that it's 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 been a lot of fun so far doing the process of, of this whole tournament, um, supporting causes and then giving somebody, you know, giving a group of people a fun day, um, some competition and and just seeing the community come together for this. Um, so obviously, thank you guys. And I appreciate it a lot. No, the pleasure is ours, man, for real. All right, cool. So that's a wrap. I'm sure you got some, you know, shots to get up today or, you know, just enjoy your summer. And I, I, we're getting registration rolling right now. So <laughs> that's what, that's my next plan. Regist our, our website opens up in an hour. Perfect. So I'm sure it's going to be flooded. Yep. Yep. The goal. Right, cool. Thank you, Cam. Appreciate Thanks, this. I appreciate you getting back on. Yes, sir. All right.